Hello, I want to talk to you a little bit about how a smile transformation can have an anti-aging effect for you. Now, the number one thing to consider is the colour of the teeth. As we age, teeth tend to darken. It's because our enamel gets thinner, the dentine underneath shows through, and this can have an ageing effect to make our teeth start to look more yellow and dark. Now, the first thing you can consider is tooth whitening. Now, tooth whitening can be very effective um, and have a great result when it's carried out by a dental professional. Unfortunately, it doesn't give brilliant results for every patient. It's very case dependent, but in the majority of cases, it is a really nice way to have a big impact on the colour of your teeth. Number two thing to consider is the position of your teeth. As we age, teeth tend to crowd more. There's something called mesial drift, which is where teeth move forward constantly. And so you're not imagining it if you feel that your teeth are becoming more crooked over the course of your lifetime. Now we can straighten teeth using things like Invisalign, fixed braces, but not only do we consider straightening the teeth, but also how we may be able to expand your upper arch to give you a wider smile and also have some tissue support. Now this again can have an anti-aging benefit. It's not major and again, it's very case dependent, but um, if you are a suitable candidate, you've got a very narrow upper arch or teeth are sort of slanting in, then by widening that upper arch, it can have a really nice result for you. Now, number three thing to consider is the length of your teeth. As we age, teeth get shorter, whether it's to do with grinding and fit acids in our diet and so on. But it does tend to happen that we see this loss of length to the teeth. Now, there are two ways that we can consider restoring the length, either with composite edge bonding, which is where we just put composite on the edges of the teeth to lengthen them, or we can use full composite veneers or porcelain veneers. And this is where we actually are adding volume to the teeth as well, because it fits over the tooth a little bit like how a false nail fits over a nail. So not only are you getting a length of the teeth improved, but also we're adding volume, which can aid with your lip support as well. So again, it can have a little bit of an anti-aging effect. It's very case dependent which one of these options would be best for you, but they are great ways um, to add some length to your teeth and again have an anti-aging effect. Now importantly to consider when we look at your face we look at your face in thirds and each third should be near enough equal. Now what we tend to see with the lower third of people's faces as they age is it becomes less and less and that's because teeth are wearing and we are losing vertical dimension. Now it can be because of grinding, acids in diet, things like that missing teeth can also have a big impact and also severe crowding can also cause this very deep bite that is getting shorter over time. Now by restoring volume to the back and the front teeth, um, whether it's by replacing missing teeth or adding volume to teeth that have worn, it can have an anti-aging effect by actually increasing the vertical dimension of the lower proportion of your face. And by doing this, we're basically reversing those effects of anti of aging. And so it's another really important thing to consider. It's not just about the way that you look, it's also about the way that you function. And we want obviously everybody to be healthy, not have any jaw problems. It's something very complicated in dentistry that requires really careful planning. But when it is done properly, planned well, it can have a really, really great result for patients. I hope that gives you a little bit of info of how having a smile transformation can have an anti-aging effect.